Um, on chips, right, uh, the design capabilities of China are not far behind, right? Um, if we go back to 2019, Huawei became the biggest customer of TSMC, right? They succeeded Apple. Uh, they actually launched the first 5 nanometer chip in the world. They launched the first 7 nanometer AI accelerator before NVIDIA, right? Um, with the Ascend, uh, the original Ascend 910. So Huawei is, is definitely top notch on design, but they've been kneecapped by not having access to TSMC, mm. right? Um, and so then, then when it comes to, hey, chip design, they're right there, right? But then when it comes to ability to produce chips, uh, they're further behind, right? Okay, which leads us nicely to my next question, right? Uh, uh, and I was listening to you on a pod talking about what are called the diffusion rules, and these started uh, under the, the Biden administration already, right? And they're under review by the Trump administration. Now, I think they need to make a call in less than a month's time, the middle of next month, right? And these regard uh, restrictions on exports of uh, chip technology, AI, to the rest of the world in three tiers, right? Uh, us... Uh, and friends, etc., and uh, others, but, but still Singapore kind of friendly, for some reason. right? And then definitely not, uh, right? So these restrictions, uh, you know, I've heard you talking about them. Uh, they restrict chip exports and access to uh, uh, leading edge U.S. chips. They don't restrict uh, access to equipment, chip making gear, nowhere near enough. And this is where potentially names like Huawei or SMIC could have an edge. Yeah. So there's some really interesting stuff there, right? Um, you know, the, the tariffs have, and, and, and sorry, the, all the export controls, the diffusion rules, have really focused a lot on AI chips, but not as much on how do you manufacture them, right? Um, and so in a sense, it's saying, yeah, yeah, you can, you can, you can make your own AI chips, just don't have ours, which is, which is sort of very short-sighted, if you will. Um, there have been some controls around equipment, but not nearly to the degree that chips have been controlled. Um, and so for that reason, you know, uh, there have been quarters uh, multiple quarters where ASML, um, Applied Materials, and all the other major chip making equip, uh, chip, chip equipment companies, wafer fab equipment companies have had 45, 50 percent of their revenue come from China, right? Um, and so this is like Russian oil, right? I mean, you can sanction them all you want, right? But there are going to be people are going to find a way around uh, rules, uh, or, or they're going to find loopholes. Yeah, they're going to find loopholes because it's very complicated. Um, it can be stopped, right? It's just, is there the political will? Is there the desire? What's China's retaliation if it gets stopped, right? Um, these, these sorts of things are the questions they're reeling, reeling with. Um, it definitely could be stopped, right? You could just tell ASML no more uh, DUV tools sales to China, right? Now, that would be, that would be quite a, you know, aggressive move, ASML wouldn't be happy, et cetera. Um, Netherlands would probably not be happy. So there's, there's a lot of complications here uh, with regards to controls. So I've got to ask you, you know, I know you've been talking to uh, Trump administration officials and probably most recently, I think about a month ago, right, uh, on energy, because that is the big advantage the U.S. potentially could have in uh, chip making, right? Have you also talked to them about uh, the diffusion rules ahead of uh, uh, May the 15th and uh, needing to crack down on exports of, of, uh, of uh, chip making gear. Yeah, so, and so when, what's been the response? Yeah, so the, the interesting thing is um, there's a very big philosophy difference between the two administrations. The Biden administration was okay with very complicated rules that were very long. Um, and so I've explained the diffusion rule to people in the new administration multiple times because it's very, very complicated, right? Yeah. It's, it's extremely long. There's a lot of nuances, a lot of references to different documents. Uh, the Trump administration wants to keep things more simple, right? Um, and so this is, this is the question, right? And same with equipment. And the problem with equipment and materials is there's, there's thousands of steps in manufacturing a chip, right? If you only just remove one of those steps, one of those pieces of equipment, China can devote a lot of engineering resources, figure out how to fix it, right? And one of the really interesting things there they've been able to do is they've purchased American equipment, put it right next to their own domestically equipped, uh, purchased a lot of American or Dutch or Japanese equipment, um, disassembled a bunch of them, figured out how it works, built it on their own, put their tools next to each other, and tried to run the same process steps so that they can and, you know, ha get data out of both and tr start to learn how do you make this equipment. And they've wow. done this, right? So there's a Huawei company called Carrier. there's NARA, there's many companies who've done exactly this, right. and it's been very uh, helpful to them on this topic, right?